Hey everyone, this is Richard Ross with AccessLearningZone.com. I just wanted to take a minute to let everyone know that I just released my latest developer class. This is Microsoft Access Developer Level 46. Yes, it's hard to believe I've got 46 of these things out already. In this particular class, we're gonna build an undo system for your Microsoft Access database. What exactly does that mean? I, I thought Microsoft Access already had an undo in it. Well, yeah, it kind of does. If you go to like an order here, for example, and if I type in, uh, you know, instead of two, maybe I make it 205, right? And then I tab or I come down to here. Oh, if I realize that was a mistake, I can undo it and it'll put it back. But it only allows you to do that with one thing, right? So if I make this 205 and then I come down here and I put in hyperdrive generator and then I come down here and I'm like, oh, wait a minute. Oh, I got to undo both of those. Undo, control Z, undo again. And nope, uh-uh, that's it. You get one change. All right, so what we're gonna build in this class is we're gonna build a way to track as many undos as you want to when you're doing something like entering in an order, right? Now, fortunately, in this database, I've already built it. There's the undo button right there, so I can hit undo. It puts that back, hit undo again. It puts it back, hit undo again. It gets rid of that one, see? Undo again, and it puts it back to where it was, and I can keep going, all right? If I delete a record, all right, are you sure? Yep. Okay, and then maybe I add a new record. All right, and I decide, oh, you know, I want to undo that ad. And then I want to undo the one before it, which was a delete. It puts it back. See, undo the previous edit. And there's no limit. And then when you're done, when you're out of undos, it gets rid of the undo button, right? So that's what we're going to build in this class. This is a developer class. So there's lots of VBA, tons of VBA in it. And we're gonna cover a couple of really interesting problems that come up when you do things with like record sets and restoring auto numbers and all kinds of cool stuff. It's about an hour and a half long and you can find more information on my website. There's the link right there. I'll put a link down below that you can click on. If you have any questions, let me know. And of course, as always, live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you again soon.